there's a, to a hurricane or if there is bad weather, which there was expected to be some rain in the forecast, these are the exits to go yeah. in. So imagine what the staff had to deal with and to be socially distanced that entire time uh, a year ago to put on that sort of a performance, an ambitious performance by the weekend. I can't wait to see how it came together. And hopefully maybe we'll see some familiar faces from the NFL media side who, of course, have their hands and paws all over that thing. I cannot wait. And, and interviewing the weekend, uh, be right leading up to that, like I could tell how much was on his shoulders going into that performance. I can't wait to watch. You know what I'm doing Friday night? Doesn't look as easy as it looks. So that is again Friday night showtime. Make sure to watch it. Meanwhile, we have been coach Nick Sirianni naming Jalen Hurts the starter in New Orleans. Jameis Winston is going to be the man, and in New England, it's going to be the rookie Mac Jones as Cam Newton was released. Now, Bill Belichick spoke to reporters this morning and says Cam being unvaccinated was not a factor in his release. Our very own Mike Giardi actually asked if there was ever an option of keeping Newton. Was there a desire to have him to stay with the team in a backup role or was that never presented as an option? Yeah, I'm not going to go through all the, the different things that um, with any player uh, on that. So we'll just you know leave it the way it is and um, you know go from there. Was that a difficult decision to make, Bill? Well, uh, I mean, I don't rank them. You know, we we make decisions and and then we execute them and go on and you know take it from there. So, how much did um, having th those three days to himself for Mac Jones help him uh, beat out Cam for that position? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, again, that was from this morning. Also this morning, the Giants announcing they will retire former pass rusher Michael Strahan's number 92 on November 28th against the Eagles. Strahan with 141 and a half career sacks. Of course, he holds the single season sack record with 22 and a half. And he, of course, got the nod and the help and the assist from one Brett Favre. No word yet on what CBS Morning News will do to retire perhaps Nate Burleson's jersey number. That remains to be seen. Perhaps another salvo in the Morning News Wars. Uh, Shrakes, <laughs> D-Hall. It was pretty cool. I got sent the clip on Good Morning America. Justin Tuck, Eli Manning, and Jesse Armstead surprised Strahan with the news this morning. So it is pretty cool news. And maybe Burleson will be there to surprise him when it happens for him. But, Will, thank you so much. Great stuff. We'll be with yeah. you again throughout the day. And now's our segment. We're up here in New York. We're called Time for Two Point Conversing.